verse number 6 to 7. Oh my God. We want to discuss the keys to divine promotion. The keys to divine promotion. Hallelujah. The Bible says if you are there. And if you are not there, just look up. Life has been made easy for us. Because we have the, we have the phases, the Bible readings on the screen. So life has been made easy for us. Hallelujah. So we can lead together. For exhortation comes neither from the east, nor, nor from, the, from the west, nor, nor from, from the, the south. south. Verse number seven. But, but God, God is, is the, the judge. judge. He, he puts, puts down, down one. one and, and exalts exalt another. another. We are going to read again. For exaltation. For, For exaltation comes, comes neither from, from the east, nor from, from the west, nor from, from, from the, the south. south. But God is, is the, the judge. He, he puts, puts one down one and exalts another. another. Father, we give you praise, honor, and the glory because of your word. Talk to our spirits and encourage our hearts, Lord, to look up unto you and to expect great things, to expect more so divine promotion from you this month, my Father. So I pray, my God, that this word turns around your people, this word encourages your people, this word heals your people. I pray, my Father, that this word will not leave us the same because you are good God. Father God, use me as a vessel, lead and available to be used of you, my Father. This vessel of clay, my God, I yield unto you. Use me the way you know how, the, the way you want how, my God, so that this word may benefit us all. Even them, my Father, that are washing my God from home, I pray, my Father, that this word will not leave them the same in Jesus name. Amen and amen. For exhortation comes neither the word neither negates other options. For exhortation comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But God is a judge. He is actually the righteous judge who puts one down as he exhorts another. Hallelujah. Promotion, therefore, comes from the north. It comes from God. We are not talking of human exhortation or human promotion. We are talking of divine promotion. Promotion that is cooked from heaven. God is in the process of lifting his people. He is in the process of elevating his people. He is in the process of lacing his people. He is in the process of honoring his people. He is in the, in the process of prospering his people. So the meaning of promotion is to advance, is to exhort, is to elevate, is to lace up, is to honor, it is to prosper, it is to lift it up. This month of May is our month of divine promotion. I declare that the Lord shall advance you, shall exhort you, shall elevate you, shall raise you up, shall honor you, shall prosper you, shall lift you. Give Jesus a clap of offering somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a favor that comes from God that brings promotion. 
There is that favor that comes from God and the power that comes from God that carries promotion. That is the power that we are going to enjoy this month and we are enjoying this month. Hallelujah. One of the things that we need to do is to desire to, re to receive this kind of promotion. Because if you do not desire, then those that desire for that promotion shall receive it and you shall not receive it. Desire from your heart to receive this promotion from God this month of May in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may the favor that brings promotion and the power, hallelujah, that brings that kind of promotion on earth, yes, come to you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah, in First Samuel 2 and verse number 8, Hallelujah. The Bible says that he lazes the poor from dust. He lazes the poor from dust and leaves the beggar from the ash heap to set among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set the world upon them. This is the God that I'm introducing to us today who lazes the poor from the dust. Who lazes the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap. What is ash heap? That is what God does. And he sets them, he sets them among the princes. I'm talking about, I'm talking about a God who lays as a beggar. Have you ever seen a beggar where the beggar stays? Hallelujah. And this, God has power to lay that beggar and take that beggar to eat with the princess. He has power to lay us from our dust from our nothingness to something touchable. He is a God of promotion. He is the one who is giving us divine promotion this month in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right? Continue to believe in that God. How many believe in that God right now? How many believe that God can remove you from dust, dust from ashes? He can remove you from grass to grace. He is powerful. God is mighty. Hallelujah. God is mighty. Nineteen long ago, when I was still a young boy, I lived in Nairobi for a short while with, <coughs> with an uncle of mine. There was a guy who was a file courier File courier is somebody who is a messenger, kind of. And he used to study. Those are the times that the insurance industry was really uh, very important. So he used to study insurance. Yeah? He, after, after, after work, he used to go to classes, you know. And he studied and he passed his exams. And when he passed his exams, as a, as a file courier, he took his results to the management and kept quiet and continued to carry the files from office to office. Hallelujah. One day, everybody say one day, he was lifted from a fire courier to an operations manager. And that was a story because it could have been put in the papers. One of the first things that happened is that his wife was taken to hospital. Could not, he could not come to terms with that. Because they were given a house in Kerele Shua. 
They were living in Omoja Circle those days. And they, they were given a company house in Kirelechua. And the guy only knew how to drive. He was using bus number 32 from Omoja Circle to town. And for the first time, he was given eh, a Fiat 131 Miller Fiori. There was a great talk because even him, he had to go some, through some counseling classes. Hallelujah. Because you could also not come to terms with that lifting. I'm talking of a God who can lift somebody from ashes. He is the same God that we are talking about. This man was promoted and it, there was a great talk of a man who was promoted from a an office uh, file courier to an operations manager. What are we talking about? Operations manager in 1978. I don't want to tell you how much salary he earned because it would also shock you. Hallelujah. This man never saw his, his, uh, his wisdom. But he saw a God who can promote somebody from or a beggar from Archeheb to eat with the princes. Do you know the type of meetings he started going to, attending? High level meetings. Operations manager of that company. Even those who were taking files to could not even believe that our boss now is this guy who was carrying files. I am sure there are some people who resigned because they could not stand that kind of that kind of a thing. But it is God. Give me my first again. It is God, hallelujah, who leases the poor from dust and he leads the beggar from archeheap and he sets them among the princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. Hallelujah. That is the God we are talking about. Amen. You also know the story of Mordecai. Mordecai. You also know the story of Mordecai. You know the story of Esther. Hmm? Esther was just a slave girl. Esther was a slave girl. She smelled slave. She walked like a slave. She ate hurriedly like a slave. She was a prisoner in her own life. She didn't know what to eat tomorrow. She didn't know what to do. But one day, everybody say, one day, she was promoted from a slave girl to a queen. Yes, Makov. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Yes, Makov. Thank you, Jesus. The same God can promote you from your predicament, from what you are going through, and place you and set you up to eat with the princess. He can do that. He is capable of doing that. The Bible says it is him who 
exalts one why he puts one down kuri bashaya dabaganda not long ago not long ago a certain lady decided to go to their place Maraquet to buy as an MP Useme nani kama unajua She was a a hold she was a crack in the bank then she decided ah waacha mimi ninaache hii kazi kwa ni nini we were in the same fellowship in London and we prayed for her we told her the god who promotes one who lifts one and puts another down will put somebody down and lays you in the state of that person and we prayed and agreed and she said enough is enough let's go do you know do you know she got the seat hallelujah the next time i saw her she was an assistant minister i tried to see whether she would ever know me anyway that's for another day nikaangalia kama anaweza nijua nikaona pale alikuwa ameketi kweli siwezi mlaumu akujua mimi ni nani haleluya but that is not the issue you can see how god is able to promote us if you are here say i believe in that god i believe in that god haleluya i believe in that god who can raise somebody from being a pauper to a millionaire that is the god i profess that is the god i'm talking about i'm talking not talking about your uncle who is in a high priest i'm talking of a god who is a respecter of nobody let me tell you my friend we need to believe in that god he has the final answer he has the final answer we are talking of a god hallelujah who promotes who who, who recovers somebody from a dead bed to life that is the god we are talking about we are talking of a god who meets lazarus having died for four days and releases lazarus from the dead that is the god we are talking about he is a god like no other and let me tell you today that god is your friend know him as your friend kura bashaya maganda he is your friend he is a promoter hallelujah this god <clears throat> was a god with hana sala remember the provocations of penina remember that penina could not see hana Penina alikuwa anatumiwa kama nani? Penina was used in the praise of the devil. Hannah was there. Hmm? Waiting upon this God who can promote, who can change, who can transform a barren woman to a woman who can bear children. This is the God we are talking about. Wewe unamwamini? Kama unamwamini ni sauti yako useme I believe in that God. That is the God I'm talking about. Look at your situation today. I allow you now. Look at your situation. I allow you now. Look at your situation. 
I'll allow you now. Look at your situation. It could be pathetic. But I say that this God, Hala Bashaya, is able to remove you from your predicament so that you can eat with kings. The same God was with Joseph. Hallelujah. He, the same God was with Joseph. Is the same God who is the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say hallelujah. That God is the same God that we are talking about. He is a God who is ready to promote you. If you desire. One of the first keys is speak to him. Speak out to God. That is the key. It means after you desire, speak out to God. Because when you speak out to God in prayer, he is a God who answers prayer. The Bible says that he even answers before we ask. But it is important to release a voice of prayer to God. The Bible says in Mark 11 and verse number 24, the Bible says that when you pray, therefore, whatever things you ask, you when you pray believe that you receive them and you'll have them that is my God whatever you ask the Bible says whatever and this particular time you are asking for divine promotion and you will receive divine promotion so you need to raise your voice to God Hallelujah. Part B, it says, in Mark 11, 24, it says, believe that you will receive them. Believe that you will receive them. That is key number two. Key number one, raise your voice of prayer to God. Number two, Believe in this God of divine promotion. And the Bible says, when you believe, you receive. Whatever you believe, whatever you ask, and you believe, you will receive it. Those are two keys. Hallelujah. Buona is what you son. Those are two keys that we have to bear in mind. You cannot say that I, because God has spoken, God has spoken about promotion, and you stay there, stay put, and wait for that promotion. It will not come. Hallelujah. It will not come. But we need to raise a voice. Yeah? And number three, <coughs> we need to declare and decree. Did you require? Yeah? We need to declare that which we have believed. We need to declare the word of God over our situation, over that kind of promotion. The Bible says in Job. 22, verse number 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established for you so that the light will shine on your way. Hallelujah. After believing that I'm a candidate of divine promotion, then you need to declare so when you declare, it will be established for you. 
And not only that, when you do that, then the light will shine your way such that you will enter into the arena of promotion while you are seeing. That is what God is saying to us today. We need to decree. Decrees are privileges of kingship. Decrees are privileges that are given to kings. Say, I am a king. And Jesus is the king of kings. Say, I am a king. And Jesus is the king of kings. So you have the privilege to decree. You are in a position to decree and whatever you declare or decree it shall be established for you so as you declare promotion upon your life it shall be established for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hey. can I talk a bit about the decrees when a king decrees something, it shall be calm law of the Lord. When a king decrees, so if you are a king, when you decree something, it becomes a law in heaven. Hallelujah. Heaven has, no, heaven has nothing else to do but to make it happen. That's why the Bible says, it shall be established. Whatever you decree, as a king, hallelujah, it shall be established and the light of heaven shall come forth to show you whatever you need. That is God. Hallelujah. Do you like that revelation? Put it in your pocket and give Jesus a clap offering. So, therefore, when the kings and priests seated in heavenly places can make it decrease according to the word of God. Hallelujah. When we do so, the law is established in the spirit, in the spiritual world. It is established. Candidates of promotion. Candidates of divine promotion. Candidates of divine promotion. So, number one, we said, you do what? You speak out to God through prayer. Number two, you believe. Hmm? I'm not trying to talk about belief. Believing is an issue of the might. Hmm? You have to bring your might to the understanding of the word of God so that you believe. Because if you believe, things shall happen. By the way, how did you get saved? You heard the word? You desired? You believed? That's the Kaisha. It is the same belief system that we need to activate even during this time of divine promotion. Number three, we said, then you have to declare. Amen? Hey. The other one is you receive the grace from God to start the farm. After you have done all that, start the farm. Wait upon this God. Moses and the children of Israel. They believed in that God. And they looked up. They heard a voice saying, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
There is that grace God is going to shed upon our lives to stand still and wait for, this, for our promotion. And hallelujah. Jehoshaphat was in a turmoil. And God sent the grace. He talked to him and told him, Jehoshaphat and your men, stand still. May you receive the grace to stand still and wait for the promotion from God. May you receive that grace. Hallelujah. <coughs> you should not be moved after believing. You should not be moved. <coughs> you can sing a song that says, I shall not be moved. <coughs> Just like a tree. Me amini huyo mungu. Ada kucha kukuinua. Na utaona huyo mungu anatenda hivyo. May you receive the grace to stand still. Hallelujah. The other one which I think is number four is embrace the power of God's favor for your promotion. There is a, a power of God's favor for promotion. Embrace it today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar even from Asher heap to set them among princes. So there is power of God's grace for your promotion. After confessing, after, after that grace that has come upon your life to stand still and wait upon this God, he releases his power of favor for your, for your promotion in the name of of the Lord Jesus right receive God's favor for your promotion in the name of Jesus right at that particular time you look like promotion it is your you look like you look lifted you look like promotion has been established ah hallelujah give Jesus a cup offering somebody hallelujah amen then set your victory with an eye of faith. You're going to live there. Set that victory upon yourself with the eye of faith. For without faith, there will be no victory. Without faith in God, hallelujah, you will not receive it. Then you start confessing and saying, I'm more than a conqueror in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You start confessing faith, speaking faith, speaking faith, speaking faith upon your promotion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Set your, set your victory with the eye of faith. Stay put like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They waited for their victory through the eye of faith. And through that eye of faith, hallelujah, there is somebody else who came to their rescue and he looked like the son of man. You need faith, hallelujah, for your victory. You need victory, but you will receive it through the eye of faith. Kila kama uko pari, simama, na tuanze, kuita, kuitana, Tuombe mungu wa shuke saina nataka tuamini for that promotion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to sing a song and that we are going to go before God and pray for your promotion right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are doing practicals, practicals, practicals. Let's have the choir here very fast in the name of Jesus. Haraka. We will sing a song, this song, and then enter into a very short prayer. Short prayer. And then believe. Amen. And then from there, we will have the promotion in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.